hello guys uh, as promised uh, I'm going to start showing you how to use these two beautiful frameworks Ionic framework and Laravel Laravel is a PHP uh, web framework and uh, Ionic is uh, a hybrid framework for building mobile applications we are going to use these two frameworks to build a very powerful but minimalistic uh, app to show you how uh, you, you can create uh, powerful stuff uh, with, the, with these uh, open source uh, projects so uh, what we are going to work on is uh, a very nice uh, blog application so the PHP will be used to build the APIs and expose them and then the uh, Ionic framework will, uh, comp uh, will, will, will uh, use these uh, APIs and uh, create uh, blog posts, uh, articles, save them, view them, read them and all that. The, the, the purpose of, of this uh, uh, series uh, is to show you how to use certain features of these frameworks to quickly build uh, an app uh, without wasting much time. Now we are going to use uh, Ionic Framework uh, version 4 which is in alpha but uh, I, I want to show you what is in store for, for us when it's been released and, and when it gets released and any changes uh, are being made to the uh, framework I will up update you uh, so that you can make those changes um, and we are going to use the uh, version uh, 5.6 of uh, Laravel to build the uh, backend all right now to set it up so to, to set up your system to be able to um, build Laravel applications and also to build Ionic uh, version 4 projects please check out uh, my lessons on, on them I've already made some uh, tutorials on how to uh, install the necessary stuff so you can create a Ionic uh, project version targeting version 4 and also using Homestead creating Laravel applications easily alright so check them out and come back and continue if you already have your system uh, set up uh, let's then go ahead all right so um, I am going to create uh, my application Lara will first create the Laravel application and uh, I prefer using this method yeah, so I have configured my um, app to serve uh, or Laravel or Homestead to serve uh, my applications uh, from the sites uh, directory here I already have uh, sorry two two websites here so we're going to add uh, the new one uh, so let's create it we are going to call uh, what what name should we even give it? Let's see. Mm, let's call it Lar Ion. Lar Ion. Um, all right. So that is it. Uh, it will create the uh, project for us. Let's not waste time and let's just go ahead and also create the. Uh, Ionic uh, project. So, if you already have Ionic, uh, the uh, release candidate version of the command line to install, which is what you need to create Laravel, sorry, uh, Ionic version 4 project. Just go ahead and Ionic start. And we have been asked of the name, so we're going to call Lar. Larion. All right, 
and uh, we are choosing the angular to get the type. We're going to use a black so we do everything from scratch so you see uh, the things involved. Are we going to use code about well, currently let's say no. Okay. Okay, so both projects have been created. The um there's a Laravel sorry the uh yeah Laravel one here is it that's been created and the uh Ionic one is has also been created as well so i have fired it up here in the browser for us to see it working now um i have something here i'm going to show you if you don't know how to use homestead to create uh, manage your Laravel applications i have a video on that as i already said check it out so i have uh, mapped uh, this uh, lar ion Laravel app inside the site uh, directory uh, to the to one inside the Vagrant uh, box here. and we are giving it a domain and we've added a database that we'll be using and then inside the host file we have provided the IP and the domain so that we can test it out uh, by just using the um, domain name custom domain name here all right and then after we've done this we just do a vagrant app if you've already done vagrant app make sure to destroy it and then do it again so that everything will sync all right so now we can do vagrant ssh Check out our sites and see. Yeah, uh, we have our Laravel on here. Let's see the into it. it. Okay, so it does it. That's a uh, Laravel application. So let's test it out in the browser as well. So Laravel dot test to see whether it's working. So yes, it's working. So congratulations if you've been able to do this then you have uh, created a laravel application and an ionic application in the next lesson we are going to get started uh, working with authentication uh, adding uh, articles and then consuming them in 